Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Indian Railways. This will be my reality for the next two days as I travel thousands of kilometers from the south of India, from Chennai, all the way to Varanasi. Yes, sir. All right, there we go. B3. All right, looks like I'm not the only one. What are the numbers of this one? Numbers? Compartment. B3. B3, yeah. yeah. But does it start like 1 or 70 here? Yeah, start from 1. 1? Oh, this is 1. Ah, I can make it. Thank you. <laughs> I already traveled from all the way from Delhi to South India. So I hope to share some tips and tricks for you as well. If you're planning on traveling India, how to travel properly with the train. Uh, 71, sir. This yeah, is uh, my okay, chair. Okay. Thank you. Well, I got the pleasure to share this uh, ride with all these women in beautiful colors. Nice to meet you. Where are you going? Jaipur. Jaipur? All the way? All the way. You too? No, no, no. Uh, my granny and my... Nice to meet you. Already moving out <laughs> because... Uh, okay. This kind sir over here, you want to see, you want to sit with your family, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, family. Okay, me, so I'm trading for thank this you, bit. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, sir. Thank you very much. So I got number eight. Oh, yeah, eight. I'll check up and tell you, sir. Thank you. Hello, everyone. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Nice to meet yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. You're from? Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You? Welcome to India. Thank yeah, you very yeah, much. Yeah. From Chennai? Yeah, 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 we are coming to. Come to Jaipur? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm Jaipur. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, you're from Jaipur. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we going to have a good uh, train ride? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, please. Take it. Thank please. you. Now, what I always like to do is to get my bag into a bigger outside bag, and then you can lock it actually to the train. All right, locked. Put it under under the beds. <sighs> and now that is one worry less for the rest of the trip. Do you have chai? Chai. Yes. You want chai too? No, no. No, my treat. You want chai? No, no, no. No one? Am I still in India? No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How much? 10 rupees. So, for the next 17 hours, I think this uh, little bed will be yours, actually, right? You're on uh, 7. I'm on uh, 8 myself, up here. So, just lean back, enjoy some chai. Didn't take long, but these kind of people are offering me a nice Indian sandwich, right? Okay, vegetable sandwich. Well, that's exactly my type of sandwich. Thank you very much. No, isn't that nice? Mm. It's good. Not too spicy. <laughs> Indian Railway provides as well as for breakfast, lunch and dinner only for a couple dollar max and I just got mine which is some rice, some curry or dal, chapati, some bread. This is definitely one of the bonuses. <coughs> Spicy pepper of uh, traveling through India because usually traveling you just pack your bag with sweets, cookies, chips and all, all the unhealthy stuff but traveling in India anyway traveling by train you get some good meals and um, <laughs> like all the Indian food portions it's enough to uh, get you through the night taste so these are my uh, latest subscribers <laughs> and the next subscriber gets a free Indian yeah. railway <laughs> meal. <laughs> One of the youngest subscribers. What's her name? Tanmiga. Tanmiga. Wow. What a darling. Do you have curd? <laughs> Yogurt? Yes. Thank you. You need a sweet one? You need a sweet or normal? No, it's this is good. This is good. Yeah, just okay. normal cord. Also, I have a sweet. Yeah, I'm good with the normal one. Thank you. Now, the food can be quite spicy. It's still India. 
So for half a dollar you can buy yourself some yogurt and um, this is good against the spiciness as well as for the digestion. Mm. <laughs> Damage actually not that bad, just a little <laughs> speck of curry on my bed and leg. And, uh, I think the worst damage is my uh, burning mouth. I don't know what this little sweet is. But, um, I think I like it. That's for sure. I think the size of this bed is about 180 because I'm 190 and it definitely didn't fit me. But uh, it's been a good night. No crying babies. And uh, it just feels a bit like I've been sleeping on concrete. One, one try, please. 20. 20? Yeah. Oh. Change the prices. Okay. Thank you. Let's wake up slowly with a good chai. Cheers. We just crossed the border to the state Maharashtra and in a couple hours we'll be in Nagpur where I'll stay for the night until I get my second train which will uh, bring me to Varanasi, my end destination. At least we're already crossed Almost like a thousand kilometers. Do you have a breakfast? Yeah, idli. Yeah. Veg? Only veg. One please. How much? Uh, 50 rupees. 50? Yeah. Oh, that's a steal. Thank you, sir. Welcome. <laughs> I look like shit. <laughs> Maybe I can borrow your uh, calm later. <laughs> Indian people always nice, helpful. Is this better? Better? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think there's any uh, rescuing this. Good thing I cut my hair already. That saved some. But uh, time for breakfast. Now we got an official Indian Railway catering breakfast. This is. Huh? Idli Puda. Idli Puda. Ah, oh, okay. Sambal, sambal. Sambal? Ah, this is like a spicy. Ah, I'm, not, I'm skipping on the sambal. It's spicy, right? It's a bit too much for me. A bit too much for me in the morning. This is like rice. Uh, rice. Rice, of course. Like a sort of fried thing. I'm sure it has some veg in it. Lentils. Ah, lentils. Sambal. Well, spicy. Medium spicy. Medium spicy. Mm. There we go. Let's give some taste to this food. Okay, thank you. Now let's see how the food is. So we got dry rice. We'll put it in the, the sauce. Normally I never do this, but uh, I cannot stomach this food anymore, it's just too dry. I'm having about a 24 hour layover here. 
I'm still halfway to Varanasi. It's about another thousand kilometers to go. But I'm getting out here in Nagpur because there's just one thing every traveler to India has to do. My layover got extended from 24 hours to 37 hours. My train is leaving tonight at midnight. Still got about five hours to go and I am like, I am completely destroyed. For the last couple of weeks I've been living between night trains and hotels and the Starbucks in between them. And I don't even know how I'm still alive, but um, I mean, I've seen the zero milestone in India and it's also located in this nice cozy little area. Welcome to Nagpur station and as you can see there are quite some constructions here. By this year 24 there are many constructions to the Indian railways on the east side of the country making it way easier to uh, travel India by train. Anyway it's almost midnight. Uh, it's been a very long day, so I just want to get in the train and uh, get some good night rest. That is not very clear for me. I've been about 15 hours in this train now. I'm getting tired of sitting on my ass, so it's time to show you around a little bit more of the trains here in India. First of all, we have two AC compartments. This is where I was staying last night. So we have two beds in here, one and two, a lower and a top one. The beds are a bit bigger too, for which you can sleep a bit more comfortable as well. If you go a class lower, you'll be in 3 AC. It has air conditioning like 2 AC, but instead of 2 AC you have, like you see, 3 beds. A bit more cozy, but a lot of less personal space. I would say if you're traveling long distances, definitely get a 2 AC or even better 1 AC. Now the lowest class is the sleeper class. It's like 3 AC with 3 beds on top of each other. One, two, three. But there's no air conditioning. So for the trips where it's gonna be a bit hotter or colder, it might be a bit more uncomfortable. The only class which we didn't have seen yet is also the only class which I didn't travel yet. And that's one AC. Just one bed with a lot of personal space, which is <sighs> Sounds like very refreshing. I guess it is possible to just get out of the train in, in the middle of the train rails. Not really sure why, but uh, it's nice to get some fresh air for once. Just make sure you don't miss your train when it starts uh, driving again. I made it to almost Varanasi. <laughs> it took me just like 73 hours by train and layovers. I feel really sweaty, tired. Anyway, travel with Indian Railways, I would say do it. Um, <laughs> try to make it a little less ambitious as I did. Also recommend to go with a travel agent because it just saves you a lot of hassle in booking. The booking can be really difficult. I met a French guy, it took him a day to book a train ticket. So travel agent saves you a lot of hassle. Anyway, I hope I can make it to Varanasi within the next hour because, uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> want to stay here. So got all my faith in the man behind me. Varanasi? Yeah. 